Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the updates that Longshot.ai has come out with. So it's a startup company, and you, many of you know that there's a lot of AI content writers out there. There's actually getting to the point where there's too many to choose from. The thing that I like about Longshot is that the entire purpose of it is to focus on long form content, long form content uh, generation for uh, your blog or your website. And at the end of the day, that's going to be the most important content that you're putting out. There's others, you know, I uh, am a pro member, unlimited member. Uh, I pay over a hundred dollars a month for Jarvis um, used to be conversion AI. I still really love that software and there's a great need for it. And um, it also does a really good job at creating long form content, but it is very pricey. Um, and then when you look at the other things that it does, it is good for creating emails and creating posts for um, social media. There's, it, it has a lot of other modules, but long shot is taking the long form content piece of, of uh, AI writing and it's taking it to the next level. And that's what I like about long shot. So if you're a blogger and you know that in order to rank your uh, content, you're going to need 2000 to 3000 words, every post that you put out long shots, going to do a better job at organizing the content. I'm going to show you that right now. And then we're going to go over um, live. This is unscripted and we're going to check out some of the new features that they have added They're They're continuing to optimize the way that you create content. So let's go ahead and log in at any point you want to try this out. You you haven't heard of Longshot and you've arrived at my video, um, welcome to LearnWire. I do tutorials on softwares and I do reviews. Now you can click the link below and go to Longshot and sign up for a free trial. You can go to a free trial after your trial is up, then we can look at the pricing and you're looking at if you bill annually, you can get this down to as low as $19 a month, right? Um, or $99 a month for unlimited content. Now you have to look at the, uh, we go back to build, it's $109. It's actually, um, I believe a, it's a little bit cheaper, about $10 less than Jarvis, but you are getting a lot of um, features for long form content, right? So, uh, and then if you don't need that many, I would say start off at the lower plan at $29 a month. Um, to see how many credits you actually use and uh, you can increase that. And then once you get to a point where you're like, I need the unlimited version, then just upgrade to that. Now, if you were going to outsource content, let's say you were going to do one or two long form, two to 3000 word posts per day. We're looking at 30 to 60 articles um, a month. And if you went and pulled out the calculator and let's say the average was $40 per two to 3000 word, I'm being generous there. Right. And I'm given a big range, but between, and we're going to go with a mediocre writer on many platforms. Uh, you're looking at about probably $40 an article and you're going to multiply that times, let's say 60 articles a month. If you were going to be aggressive and that's what you were uh, doing for a living is producing content for your website, you'd be spending $2,400 on that content per month, um, where, or you can just uh, pay $109 a month for unlimited content and you can create it yourself very quickly. So let's go in. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account real quick. And that's cool. It actually logs you in immediately. Um, and you can see I have our several articles I've already created. Uh, and you have all the menu options over here on the left and they're continuing to add to that, which is cool. I'm sure they're going to probably eventually add some other features like maybe email, cold emails, um, and add some more features over time. But the, uh, you know, their main function and their main uh, focus is always going to be long form uh, blog content, website content, which is awesome because that's where I think Jarvis fails. It's hard to keep Jarvis on track. Uh, you have to know um, all the different short codes and you have to fool around with it a lot. And um, those are the parts where I um, have struggled a little bit with using Jarvis as a long form, form content generator. Now, if it's staying on just one topic and you want it to write 500 words, it does well, but jo uh, long form can take, uh, you're just going to see it, right? You're going to see how it's going to take all these different topics and it's going to go in and stay on topic. So let's go and let's just create one. I'm going to go back over here, um, into um, Uber suggest. Um, I have a lifetime access into Uber suggest great tool. So I don't have to worry about other uh, keyword tools if I don't um, want, you know, need them in my business. 
So um, I found one and I have a motivation blog. So I want to just write in front of you. I'm going to, we're going to test this out and I'm going to write some content, how to achieve your dreams and goals. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it. One thing I like to do is that this tool is saying that this should be pretty easy to rank for. It's only giving it an eight out of a hundred of, um, and the lower the number, the better, right? Pay difficulty six. Um, and it has some, um, some, cost per click value. So that means it is a valuable keyword and it's a low cost. I like to go for over a hundred search volume. So it's meeting all those criteria that I look for. Another thing I'll do is I'll go check Google and I'll actually type that in and then I'll do a control F and find. Now this isn't really an SEO tutorial, but I'm just showing you kind of why I chose this keyword is that nobody on the first page is actually optimized for their title or their exact match domain for this keyword, right? So it's, um, there's just, there's nobody else on this page on ranking in the top 10 and there's a medium. So we can outdo a lot of this stuff, right? Even though that these all have high domain authorities, they're not optimized for this keyword. So if we do a long form uh, blog post, we SEO optimize it, then we can uh, rank for keywords like this, right? So let's go back in to long shot. And I'm going to go ahead and it's probably going to, um, we'll see if it, if they've extended the amount that we can put in here, but they, you can see pro tip, you can search for different keywords like Bitcoin in India and Bitcoin price in India to get better headline results. Um, a lot of times, uh, so how to achieve your dreams and goals. Um, that's, that's new. So right off the bat, that's new. <clears throat> I'm sure they got a lot of feedback that they were not allowing long tail keywords. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven keywords as the long tail keyword. That's great, right? They were only allowing, you know, up to about three or four keywords. So a lot broader. So then you weren't able to map out and do better research with your keyword. So that right there is already an, an optimization and an improvement that they've made. So then now we've got all these other related keywords. We're going out, we're going to map this out and you can see it does a trend right here. Uh, when this, so in November and December and January is when this spikes, right? So this does have a big spike. Um, because the first of the year when people are looking at uh, skip tour, uh, looking at goals and stuff, right? So I really like this. So let's go and pick some keywords. So I'm going to go ahead and just add achieve your goals, uh, dream career, um, things, successful people. We'll put that in there. Um, let's say daily to achieve steps to achieve goal setting steps. And we will leave it at that. Then we'll come back over here and there's popular headlines. It's getting all these sub headlines uh, from all the popular ranked sites. So focus forward and visualize your dream. We'll put that one in there, personal and professional goals. And let's see right here, break your goals down. Here's one right here, setting benchmarks. And then we can even go with uh, Quora or Google um, uh, questions, right? And let's see right here at any age, we'll grab one of those. So we have all those sub headlines are added in over here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is you can actually choose what kind of article you're writing, descriptive, listicle. I'm just going to go with descriptive and we're going to click the headlines button. So we're just going to select this. It's kind of like our headline or title. Uh, we will change that to optimize our keyword again um, in a minute. I'm going to push the outline button and this is where you, how many sub headlines you want. And we're going to go, let's just go with eight for now. And we will do add outline or create blog outline again. So here we go, or you can click the generate and improve blog. So we're going to go ahead and click that. So right back in here. So right here is where we're going to tell it what we actually want to write about. Right? So we have all these over here. Uh, we can just click those and then there it's going to add it over here. So we're going to, you have to manually add these real quick. We're just going to add some of these daily to achieve and they're all stacking up right here. Goal setting, personal, professional goals, break your goals down, how to improve every day and right there. Okay. So then now generate and improve blog. So then now watch, this is where the magic happens. It's going to go out there. It's going to formulate our blog post for us. I've got a title, one, two, three, four sub headlines, obviously. Now you can add more sub headlines if you want. We're just going to stick with this for now. Uh, so I can, we can do the demo. And then what we'll do is we'll come back over. I want to get the keyword, how to achieve your dreams and goals. Let's go ahead and put that in. Uh, 
how to achieve your dreams and goals, right? And then now what you can do is you can actually take that right there and you can say generate intro. So this is new and we can just say uh, write an intro about how to achieve your dreams and goals. And then we can push generate. So that's new. They didn't have generate intro for all these different topics. Um, and now what they're doing right now, what they've changed is they automatically were putting content in and now they want us to go ahead and actually have uh, the software tell it what we want it to write as an intro. So attaining your goals is not always easy, but if you learn how to dream with a purpose, everything will fall into place. Use these six ways to live a more positive life and find the balance that you need to achieve anything. This article explores six simple. So we have one, two, three, four. So what we would do is just, we would just add two more. So. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to take some keywords to use over here, which is really cool. So I'm going to say things successful and see how I wrote things successful. You'll see right over here that it changed to green so that we're optimizing our content, right? Things successful uh, people do daily. So we can do that and we can make this an H2 and then we're going to take one more. We're going to come down here and let's just say, um, things practice gratitude daily to achieve your goals. And then we're going to go ahead and go up there and make it an H2 as well. So notice that that one turned green as well, practice gratitude. So these are all keywords to use uh, during your writing process um, that will just continue. Now it's, the, I think that they're probably going to add this at a, some point. I'm sure that it's been um, asked to be added as features kind of like phrase and surfer where they can you can actually analyze the content over here on the right so they are giving us good keywords to help go out and optimize our content and they're giving us power words readability and a word count um, but eventually i'm thinking that there'll also be a place that you can actually um, look at the percentage of keywords versus the top 10 competitors or something like that so you know that you're optimizing and then also it would be nice to, over here to see what the top 10 or 20 results like phrase does and then tell you what what your content piece need the the amount of words that you need for it right so those are two things that i would like to see added but again it's a startup and they're continuing to optimize the um the software right so then we are going to go over here to focus forward and visualize dream so what you can do is you can actually copy this i'm going to say generate an intro for this and I'm going to just paste that in there and then watch. It knows to skip the um, the H2 tag and write right underneath it. And this is something that no other AI content generator actually knows how to do. And then you can read this. It's on topic. We can say write more and it just continues to start writing for us. This is the, the coolest um, AI software generator that I have actually used. And that's actually saying a lot because I have a, a membership to a lot of them, uh, Closers Copy, uh, Pepper Type, Jarvis, and several others. So we're going to come up over here. And then also what you can do right here, personal and professional goals, we can just push enter right there and just say write for me. And it should take personal and professional goals. And right here, look, this brings us to the final major step. It's not a final, so we'll change that. This brings us to the... Um, to a we'll just say to a major step of goal setting deciding on a goal you should create a goal that will benefit both you and the others as well as reflect your personal values so then you can say write more um, it's actually wants some more so actually we can just take this sentence right here and just push extend expand content so there's just you never get stuck with this you can always just with a click of a button, tell it what you want it to do next. And it just continues to write for you, right? So uh, right here, you can actually do an unstuck me and you can add uh, more keywords. So like if I come right over here and I say unstuck me, and then I want to say um, setting steps and goal oriented. So you would just click on setting steps and goal oriented. 
and then you would say generate, it's going to generate some content with those two keywords, focusing on those two keywords. Uh, so it's just really, really cool. So there's goal oriented right there. And uh, you can see how it just continues to write for us really good content. You get a word count at 400. So all in all, what uh, you would just keep going down, right? And so that's really the major things that you can do right now. I'd say the biggest updates is that back um, when I'm going to go ahead and save this so I don't lose my work. Now, when we go back over to the research part, this is the two biggest things that I'm seeing that um, have been improved is that you're able to put a really long tail keyword in here at the top to search so it can go out and do laser targeted research. So that's very important. And then under blog, you're actually able to come in here and highlight a subheading, an A2 tag, and you're able to uh, generate an intro and tell it exactly what you want it to write about. And then boom, it will do several different introductions and it'll laser focus your content for every subheading. So the content is just going to be laser focused. So super, super cool updates for a long shot. If you want to go check it out, you try it out for free, uh, see for yourself. If it's the right software for you, click the link below and sign up for a free, um, for a free trial. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to get uh, videos like this where I dive into softwares and we go over it together and you can actually get an idea if it's a software that you want to try just by from watching a video of mine. Uh, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and I will see you in the next video.